and start watching. Okay. Yeah, wait. <clears throat> you ready? Yeah, wait. I'll tell you when to do it. Twinkleies will bang with another video. And, um, we are going to do another painting tutorial. And, oh, guys, thank you for um, watching these. It's going to be so good. I just know it is. And so, we have our host. Hi, <laughs> and oh my god, he is like the best artist ever. Like, um, when I saw his first painting, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, dang, can I sell these? I wish I had a thousand bucks. And he's like, no, I'm sorry. And I'm like, damn it. Yeah. Alright, guys. So, to me, thank you everyone for watching. You guys are so nice. Okay, so our host is Danny. Which is the Walters. Right. And. Camera hog. <laughs> okay, bye guys. I hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> bye. Well, there's my uh, my new co host for tonight. She's, she's my assistant. So, um, yeah, that just made her night. Nice. So, <laughs> that's super awesome. Um, Alright, so I think what we'll do is kind of dive in with. Uh, um, yeah, that was just fun. That made my day. All right, so we're going to do a, uh, yeah, if I left her on, you guys would, yeah, be way entertained. Far, far better than I can do. Um, so we're definitely going to be doing a, uh, um, kind of an African sunset here, and we're going to try a giraffe. I'm just going to go for it and try this out. So we'll see how this works. All right, we're going to put, uh, I'm gonna put some scarlet in the sky here. And the last time, we didn't get enough yellow in the sky, so I really wanna kinda of pump that yellow in there. We're gonna have our yellow sun in here. So a lot more, a lot more yellow in the sky. And we'll throw in some orange. So, gonna get it going with that. <clears throat> Freaky spots here. Awesome. Well, she's been bugging me since I got off camera to, to jump in and do that, so we had to. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. side as much as we can. putting on a lot thinner paint than we have been with some of this <clears throat> paint right to canvas pieces that we've been doing where it's really kind of thick and you just kind of blend it through we just really want that dry heat looking mirage type feel to this sun and uh and the sky so <clears throat> we do it thin enough um it'll actually dry and we can go over top of it with some other colors here in a little bit um, so it's not fully blended all right here we go Here we go. 
So I'm turning the brush sideways now, making a lot longer strokes and kind of pulling some of that red through it. Just to give it a little a little different texture. Change this up on you folks. This is what artists can do. They can change their mind. And we're just going to do that. competing with the top of the painting because this wasn't really tall enough for a giraffe like it was the elephant um, the other night. <clears throat> All right. fibers super fun get stuck in there really kind of monkey things up and last but not least we are going to throw a couple more lines of this in there blend something up brush here. I'm just going to kind of smooth this over. here. 
So we got some yellow paint on this. Not all the way, but Maybe that would kind of work. It didn't. <laughs> Trial and error. All right. Didn't work. Bear with me. Cover it up. Here we go. Thought it would work. It didn't. So. Definitely going to get some more yellow in here. Just to kind of give us a kind of a false sunset sky. Last one here. And then we'll texture this a little bit. easy I want these edges to look normal cool it's got that glistening kind of yellow shine off of there Take some different looks at it from different angles and make sure there's no glare, you know, hitting it weird. Cool, I like it. A wacky spot there. All right, nice. I like that. Cool. So, paint the edges. <clears throat> You guys have some ideas and stuff that you want to throw out for, you know, other ideas of paintings and stuff that maybe I could take a look at trying. You know, feel free to put those in the comments. I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are on some other things that we can do. All right, cool. Well, we got the edges painted. Just need to kind of, some of these edges kind of lapsed over. There we are. Good. Okay, cool. So we have our, our sunset sky here. Still got some folks. Cool. 17. All right. Sorry. I'm gonna turn this on you, and then uh, then I left you hanging. So let's get you back to where you can see it. All right. Cool. So we got a little sunset next there. Um, so we're gonna use our black. Um, <laughs> So we're gonna want silhouette this mountains I 
actually. Probably shouldn't even do that, because we're going to have a giraffe on one of these, so. Probably just flatten these out a little bit. to it. So we're actually going to kind of do what we normally do for our trees. Kind of get this sunset. That's actually going to give us a little bit of a highlight. Kind of go through this. <coughs> and we're going to want to use our, our fan brush. Use in the past to get to give us some grasses as we on the side here. Cool. I like it. in here so it's a little darker towards the bottom so you got some kind of green layer over top there because the black kind of blended with some of the oranges so we're just going to kind of throw in some foreground black um, that really adds some second layer depth to this I like it that looks cool and up close you can kind of see that it's got some extra texture and there's more darks and stuff on the in the front compared to back there. Cool. All right. Time for our tree. <clears throat> this tree's going to kind of have this little side feel to it. feel to them. They're definitely a lot taller in the top there. Just twists and turns to it. And we'll cover that too here in a second with our foliage. We'll make sure that we get a good 
solid branches because last time I, I just I'm so used to having my branches cover up our or uh, our foliage cover up our branches that it didn't it didn't happen last time. one little branch kind of off by himself. I like that a lot. Okay, it's time for our giraffe. Kind of want to get an idea where giraffe probably head here, long neck, body, legs down. All right, let's see what we got. So, <laughs> put a little brontosaurus action. I think that's kind of where we're at. It's a little brontosaurus ish to me.
<laughs> not quite sure that this is what we really wanted, but hey, we're trying trying some things out. Brana Giraffosaurus. It's a little less Baronosaurus than Not by Tuck to Needle believes giraffe. light sleep isn't complicated and shouldn't be expensive. Exclusive to Amazon, the Not by Tuck to Needle mattress sleeps cool and is the ideal balance of soft and firm. Try it for yourself with a risk-free 100-night trial and a 10-year limited warranty. To learn more, visit Amazon.com slash Nod. That's Amazon.com slash N-O-D. What do we think? What do we think, guys? You're listening to doing okay. on Amazon Music. Want the most music ah, app free? Cool. With All right. Amazon Music Unlimited, so we have our Giraffosaurus here. And Just ask, try Amazon I guess music maybe a little longer neck, thinner neck, um, you know, bigger body. You know, you guys are the experts. I haven't even looked at a picture of one of these yet, so at least with the uh, the elephant, I kind of looked at a, at a picture of what one might look like, so... I had kind of an idea. Throw some grasses in front of it here. Highlight the tree with some yellows. It's already got a little orange in there. Birds up in the sky. Call it good. A tiny little, fine little brush here. <clears throat>
Cool. <clears throat> what do you think? What do you think? Somebody's got to like that one. Everybody loves rats, right? Cool. All right, well, let's see who we got left. We got 10 folks still hanging out with us. And here is our <clears throat> giraffe silhouette. I'm not a super fan of the giraffe. Love the tree and the sunset. The birds look cool. I need some work on my giraffe itch. And uh, hey, first attempt doing it live. I was nervous, so we need longer legs, I'm assuming. So, all right, there it is, our giraffe piece. <laughs> all right, so you guys got to meet my daughter tonight. That was super fun. She uh, she loves being an online presence, so super cool. Um, so we did two pieces tonight. I don't even know where the other one went. Okay, yeah, here it is. Um, we got our mermaid tail piece with some spackle splatter on top. Give it that cool misty sea feeling it's very sparkly and and whimsical and I, I showed the, uh, the, the the customer that, that ordered that and she absolutely loved it it's it's a piece for her daughter and she's just super excited about it so um, appreciate you guys watching and uh, hope you have a great weekend I'll be back tomorrow all right love you bye